volcano. Then they said, get out, get out, everybody run. It looked like a building was coming down. A nearly century-old steam pipe explodes. I think it's a bomb. Officials say it's age, not sabotage. Now the fallout, traffic chaos, fears of toxic dust, and worries of more time bombs under the street on this American Morning. And good morning to you. It is Thursday, July 19th. I'm Kieran Chetri. And I'm John Roberts. Good morning to you. Thanks for joining us here on American Morning. What an incredible scene yesterday in Midtown Manhattan, just outside of Grand Central Station at the height of rush hour. An old steam pipe, about 83 years old, somehow suddenly blue. Take a look at this. This is some iReport video that we got in. Just the noise, Kieran, is amazing. Yeah, it really scared a lot of people that were in that area. In fact, it injured uh, at least 30. One person lost their life uh, because of the explosion. Happened just before 6 o'clock. And still today, several blocks in that area, and this is right by Grand Central, as you said, are still off limits. So we have dramatic pictures from the scene. They're coming into us all morning long. Uh, open up any of the papers today, even on the front of the tabloids in New York. Uh, the earth opened from the Daily News showing yeah. uh, this tow truck that was literally swallowed up. Right, and uh, the, the fellow who was driving ground. that tow truck, apparently only his second day in the job, according to some reports, he was burned over 80% of his body. The one person who died, died from a heart attack. New York Post has got this Midtown Volcano. Take a look at this. I mean, and that's really how people describe it, urban volcano, a uh, midtown volcano, because they said the eruption was exactly yeah. how they would picture it if even, it uh, even, was even a the, volcano. Even the New York Times, above the fold here in the New York Times, and then as well, and they, they do this rarely, a special pullout section on the whole thing. And, and there you can see the, the devastation, the huge crater that opened up there on uh, Lexington Avenue at 41st Street and the tow truck right there in the center. And, and again, the uh, driver of that tow truck said to be in critical condition in the hospital today. Yeah, 30 other people also uh, wounded, most of them with minor injuries. But we also got some other eye reports coming in. Um, this happened again, as we said, right in the heart of busy midtown Manhattan. And here are some of the pictures that we got from uh, people that were at the scene. Uh, some of these taken with their cell phone cameras, some of them taken uh, with with the digital cameras that they had on the scene. There's, there's one of these shots here that is so eerily reminiscent of, of 9-11 and even that one looks like it but, but there were shots of shoes left in the streets as people just dropped everything and ran we're going to be talking to an eyewitness a guy who was working in the uh, uh, the mobile building right next door there's the shot of the shoes left in the street mm -hmm. and there was some video of people running as well which looks eerily reminiscent of what happened during 9-11 when those twin towers came down but we're going to be talking with a, an eyewitness who was in the uh, building next door, the mobile building, up on the 37th floor. They had to evacuate, had to run down 37 flights. And he, and his, he had a family member who survived 9-11, and he said it was so eerily similar to that whole thing. But the NYPD almost immediately ruling out uh, any idea of terrorism, saying that what might have happened here, because there was a heavy rainstorm uh, earlier in the day, is that there might have been some condensation gotten on the inside of that steam pipe. It's a big steam pipe, about two feet in diameter. And what can happen when condensation builds up on the inside of those pipes is that the velocity of the steam picks up those little droplets of water, turns them into what they refer to as a slug and it can fire that slug at 100 miles an hour against a standing part of that pipe, like an elbow or something, and it can be like a hammer punch right to the inside of that pipe. And if it's old and if it's weak, it could blow it wide open. And it looks that's what, like that's what happened yesterday. And it's um, called water hammer. Water hammer. You, you some may have uh, felt it or had it happen to you in a, in a certainly much smaller degree in your own home when you turn on a pipe like that. Um, by the way, we're going to be talking a little bit later to a security expert as well. Uh, with some of the questions about the aftermath right now, there was concerns about asbestos. They were asking people in the area who were exposed to bathe carefully, close your windows, turn on your air conditioner. Uh, and also the question is how can you be so sure that it right. was not um, foul play or terror related? So we're going to talk more about that. But right now uh, this happened at a busy commercial and residential hub right in the heart of the city, right by Grand Central, as we said. Tens of thousands of people pass through the area each day. It's the Chrysler Building, the Empire State Building, Grand Central, and the whole area still shut down this morning. And right now, Con Edison workers are on the scene. They're trying to assess the situation, figure out, and make sure that there's no other dangers like the, uh, like the crater growing even larger at the edges of the pavement where that tow truck was 35, 40 feet in the ground. One of the most eerie photos that we have seen today are of shoes left on the sidewalk as people literally ran out of their shoes 
to get away from that area. Uh, eerie, uh, eerily reminiscent of what happened uh, during 9-11. Uh, one person, there's that shot of the shoes. Uh, one person died in this, um, died from a heart attack. Several others are in critical condition this morning, including the driver of that tow truck that you see in the middle of that crater that's 25 feet wide and 15 feet deep. He was in that crater as the steam was billowing around him. We have reports that he's burned over 80% of his body. Lots of great eye reports. In